What's up everybody, Jay here with another quickie review. You know, my job as a school bus driver affords me a little bit of time to stop for lunch at places and sometimes when I stop for lunch I pick up some Hot Wheels. Well, today was no exception. I picked up a few new Hot Wheels. For starters, I picked up this Corvette C7R. Uh, I believe my son has this one in a white variation. Uh, it's part of the HW Speed Graphics series. It's uh, blue with Summit Tampos and a red base. It's uh, American packaging, or English packaging, if you will. I don't know. Let's take it out. I do believe my son has a white variation of this, though. Uh, and I know, I know it's hard to tell, but it is blue with red and silver. Nice and smooth. And I picked up this blue 70 Camaro, also part of the HW Speed Graphics series. 50th anniversary of Hot Wheels this year. Another 2018 release. With Hotchkiss Tampos. Again, very smooth riding. And this particular one, I actually have the green variation of. So I have a I now have two 70 Camaros. Picked up the new 2018 Camaro Super Sports, new for 2018, part of the Muscle Mania series. This one is orange with black stripes. Got the faster than ever wheels on it. Very smooth rolling. Really digging that color. Picked up the 70s Chevelle Super Sport Wagon. Part of the HW Daredevil set. Uh, interesting colors on this one with the two different types of wheels. The blue with craziness going on. Another 2018 release. long car might not be good in some portions of the track but heavy car though definitely definitely should be good on the downhill and lastly the Lamborghini Huracan LP 622 Super Trofeo a mouthful of a name from the HW Exotics line Again, 2018 release. Really cool looking tampos on it. I actually really like this one, and I'm not one who usually likes white cars. Rolls very nicely. Very low to the ground though, so not necessarily good for things like loops or even high bank curves but should still be good fun racing nonetheless. So there you go, I picked up five new cars today. We'll throw this Camaro in for six.
Now over the weekend, we went to an Antiques Roadshow and Sidewalk Chalk Festival here locally. And one of the vendors at the Antiques Roadshow had a couple of Matchbox cars that he sold to me for a dollar. So I got this Lamborghini Countach from 1986. It's got super fast wheels. The paint's in really good shape. I just got to clean the car up considerably. It rolls fairly well. Uh, if you look at the base, uh, you can see on the base that I really do need to clean this car up. And it's got a copyright date of 85 or 86. I can't quite tell. But definitely not a bad pickup. Especially if they both were, if I got them both for a dollar. It's also a little too wide for Hot Wheels track. But it's from the time when uh, Universal Toys owned Matchbox. I also got this Ferrari Testarossa. This Ferrari Testarossa is from the World Class Series. It came out in 1989. Uh, it's got Ferrari markings on the side. The silver windows are kind of weird. Uh, you can see on the base, it's from the World Class Series. Uh, it's got a copyright date of 85 or 86. And it's got rubber Goodyear tires. And this one as well is too wide for track. Now we went to Ross after all that. My wife wanted to do some shopping. And my son and I found a couple these two Maestos. A couple of Maesto Elite Transports. Uh, this is the Maesto flatbed. Uh, I love the markings on it, the classic muscle. Uh, the, the red stripe wheels look great. Built very low to the ground. Not for hire though, he's dedicated to the car he came with. Now the car he came with just happens to be this 1970 Plymouth GTX. This car looks great with the chrome piping underneath and the blue looks great on it. The hood opens to reveal the chrome engine. It's got red striped wheels. Now the back of this comes out and goes down into a ramp so you can drive the car up and tow it away. And the other Elite Transport they had was this 57 Chevy flatbed, oldies towing. This looks great with the white wall tires. By the way, the tires on these are all rubber. Uh, love how the bottom looks with the piping uh, this looks great in these colors the red just looks amazing and this one came with a 57 Chevy Bel Air this Bel Air is just beautiful the black and red complement each other so well with the white wall tires again with the piping underneath and again the tires are all rubber on these I mean the detail is just really good So I think what we'll do is we'll have a little fun. We'll take these two Maestos. And let's see, we'll take the, the Hot Wheels from earlier. Let's see, here they are, here's the Lamborghini. We'll take the, the, the six Hot Wheels from earlier. That should make eight. Corvette and my green 70 Camaro should make it eight and we'll take out the rooftop race garage and we'll have a quick little like mini tournament just to see which one of these could be the fastest even though it is a short track so let's take this over to the rooftop race garage all right, we're all set here. So in race number one, we have the 70 Plymouth GTX from Maisto and the 57 Chevy Bel Air from Maisto. Starting line, or finish line is set. Go. 
And the Plymouth GTX moves on. The 57 Chevy is eliminated. Reset the starting line. Up next, we have the Lamborghini Huracan Super... The Lamborghini with the really long name. Just kidding. And the Corvette C7R. Again, finish line set. Ready? Go! And the finish line says that the Lamborghini won. So the Lamborghini moves on. And the Corvette is eliminated. And up next, the blue 70 Camaro and the green 70 Camaro. Finish line is reset. Ready, go. Hmm, I know how it looked, but according to the finish line, the blue 70 Camaro is our winner and it moves on. The green Camaro gets eliminated. Go! And finally for the first round, the 70 Chevelle Super Sport Wagon and the 2018 Mustang uh, Super Sport. Reset in the flag. Ready, go! And again, I know what it looked like, but the flag says, against my better judgment, that the Chevelle wagon has won. So the Chevelle wagon moves on. The Mustang is eliminated. Go! Now for the semifinals. We will put the blue Camaro against the Lamborghini Huracan. Ready? Go! And according to this, the blue Camaro won, so we're going to have to go with that because I'm keeping things super simple today. This is very good proof of how this is a flawed playset. And finally in the semifinals, from Maisto, the 70 Plymouth GTX, and from Hot Wheels, the 70 Chevelle Super Sport Wagon. Flag is set. Ready? Go! The flag was willing to fall to this direction. It literally had push coming from this side. Therefore, the 70 Plymouth GTX is the winner, and the Super Sport Wagon is eliminated. Go! And now the finals. The winner of this race is today's champion. The flag is set. We have from Hot Wheels, the 70 Camaro, and from Maisto, the 70 Plymouth GTX. Ready, go! Well, once again, the flag proves that it is incapable of telling who really won because it really looked like that Camaro won. However, the flag says the Camaro got eliminated and our winner for today is the 70 Plymouth GTX. Go! So there you have it. A little fun with some new cars. 
I'm Jay for Match Wheels Diecast, and as always, we'll see you in the winner's circle. <laughs>